Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a look at the CS Oberon. All right, so today's design is called the CS Oberon, and it is an unlock level 20 size class 8 capital vessel coming to us from creator Zertali. This design is already doing well in the workshop and caught my attention because of the interesting design. It takes a little bit of a different approach and especially is noticeable about the cargo bay doors on top of the wing sections. So the only foot level access you have to the ship is from either of the sides under the wing sections where you come into the hover vessel cargo bay area. Now under each wing section there is a cargo bay door that leads into this hangar section and in the middle you see we have an assortment of multicolored cargo boxes. These honestly feel out of place compared to the smooth everything polished type look that the rest of this ship has. So as you can see here we have switches for each cargo bay constructor so you can turn these on and off meaning it's easier for you to save power when you're not using them. We also have embedded in the sides here cargo boxes, four on each side, and it's a very nice twist on how people sometimes arrange the cargo boxes in the walls. We also, of course, have our repair bay and our repair bay console, and over here, instead of the console, we have an armor locker. Taking the elevator up, we will go to the next main deck section, which is actually where most of the rest of the ship is contained. Now on one side of the elevator we have a medic station, with the other side being an O2 station. If we head forward we come into the bridge area where you see we have some NPCs standing guard and working as well as our oxygen tanks embedded in the walls and you will see our core right here in the floor. Up here at the front we do have our pilot seat as well as switches for turning on certain things. You have your spotlights, your flight systems, and the main power. Now you won't see it when you're walking forward in the ship, but when you come backwards, there is a set of stairs on each side that leads down to the observation deck area where you have sort of a lounge look. People can hang out. And as you see, we do have some of our crew members in here working, just relaxing and a nice view of what's outside the ship. And next to the stairs coming down, there is a switch that for your convenience will turn on and off the lights in the front section. So you can save a little bit of power this way. Now, back by the elevator, going through the other section of the ship, we will first go down these stairs here into the new production area right here. As you can see, we have more advanced constructors. We also have a similar assortment of multicolored cargo boxes that, as I said, to me, stands out a bit from the rest of the ship and not exactly in a good way. It feels out of place compared to the very polished look that the rest of the ship has. Now as you come down the stairs on each side there is a small little recessed area where you have a gravity generator, some decorative consoles, and some closets. In the middle of this area on each side there is a set of stairs leading down into another staging area where you have two closets on one side, a repair station, and an armor locker. On the other side more closets as well as an O2 station. And then coming through this door we come into our small vessel hangar bays where on each side we have four cargo boxes in the walls as well as our outside accessible doors leading in so you can park your small vessels here. Coming here you see we are in the rocket launcher control room for this side and technically the only control you have here is if you put ammo in the boxes or not. Having this section right next to this middle production area means that you don't have to carry your supplies from here down to the lower hangar bay area where the hover vessels are. So both the small vessels and the hover vessels have their own production areas just for them. Now at the back of this section behind the advanced constructors on one side we have this little walkway down. We come in here and we are in the crew quarters where we have several bunk beds, some closets and coming down the elevator here a nicely dedicated little bathroom showering area. And on the other side of this section, we also have the same thing, just in a mirrored fashion. Now going up the stairs at the back, we come up to this upper platform, where we have on this side, you see a nice big red area with a red door. This is your medic station area. This is your med bay. This is where we have a medic station, as well as our medical scanners, and you know, some tanks just for decorative storage, that you can come in here and make sure your crew are happy and healthy. 
opposite of the med bay, we have this unmarked door, which leads into an empty room. Now, this is open for you to customize however you like. And of course, if we ever have another room section that's needed, the creator can add that to this room space here. Now taking the blue door at the back, we come into the engineering area where we have actually a very nice display setup where you're walking on the glass panes and can look down at the generators below. We also have several crew technicians in here working. And if you would like to access the generators below, just come here to this elevator and you're right down in this section. You will also notice that the ceiling has some fuel tanks in it. And if you look to the sides of the door where we came in, there are more elevators and these lead down to the warp drive area, which is just an accessible spot from both sides where you'll find your warp drive fuel tank and behind these very protective glass panes, your warp drive. So now one more part back here at the elevator, before we go anywhere else, we go upstairs in the middle. And this brings us to our grow plot area where we have a total of four sections of nine for 36 grow plots, which also have their own independent switches for the lights. On the end where you walk up into this area, we have a total of two food processors and four fridges, giving you plenty of storage and food processing. By default, the ship comes with four rocket launchers, but no turrets. However, on the top at the front and back, there are multiple spots for turret mounts. So once again, this is the CS Oberon, and it is an unlocked level 20 size class 8 capital vessel. It carries 17 fuel tanks, giving you a total of 45,900 fuel capacity. And with the flight systems turned off, just sitting docked, I have over 29 hours of use. It also comes with 14 oxygen tanks, giving you a total of 28,002, but needs 5,783 to fill it up. To make sure you breathe readily in every room, there are 18 ventilators, and then you have three oxygen stations and two medic stations as well. As I said, it comes stock with four rocket launchers, but there are four mount points for turrets that you get to add later. It carries a total of 72 cargo boxes plus four ammo boxes, the four fridges, two food processors, and four advanced constructors. When it comes to resources to build this, you shouldn't have to worry about anything like the iron, silicon, copper, and sathium. You may have some trouble with the neodymium and the cobalt, depending on where you are in the game at the time. And you may have some trouble getting enough arrestrum and zascosium to build this, because by the time you have that amount, you may be more interested in building a bigger ship than this, and with more capacity. So overall, I really like the Oberon's design. It stands out from the typical design we see of a lot of ships. And I like the fact that the small vessel landing bays are actually inside the wing sections. That's unusual, something we haven't seen very much of on the workshop. However, that does create a little bit of a problem as well in that it limits you a bit in the size of what small vessels you're using. And of course, the hangar bay in the lower section for hover vessels does limit you a bit there because of the amount of space available around the repair bay module. You won't be able to put anything too large up there and use the repair bay module to fix it. It also seems strange that it would come with four rocket launchers as weapons, but no turrets at all. I appreciate leaving turret spots open and using that as a way to cut down cost, but I would expect at least some basic turrets in there, just so you're not having to worry about getting shot by a drone you didn't see to your left. My main complaint about the ship design is the lack of side to side and turning movement. It has almost no speed to its turning or side to side movement, which means it's not going to be very good in fighting against another capital vessel using just the rocket launchers. It honestly makes me question why there are even rocket launchers on the ship design when the turning capabilities are so poor. So once again, this is the CS Oberon by creator Zertali, and if you would like to check it out, I will have a link in the description below. If you do try it out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment on the workshop page for Zertali. And of course, if you like the video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.